Hi everyone, this video is for Unimas lecturers who are using Elip and would like to try out badges in their course page. So for badges, it's quite easy to use. The badges are um, like unique to each course. So whatever badges you have, it's only applicable to that course. If you have another course, um, you will not have the badges assigned if you only assign to this one. For example, this one, if I go to badges, I will have my badges assigned already. If I go to my other courses, like this one if i click badges i don't have any because i don't set any so this will be quite useful because you can um, align the badges according to your course without having to be worried that the badges will interfere with your other courses first thing before you even bother about giving badges is to make sure that you decide what activities do you want the badges to be awarded based on for example um, my case I want to award based on activities so I want to encourage students to complete my activities so I need to make sure that my content on my elite page not everything's are activity with activity completion I only set for this part for example right all these activities you can see only these are assigned with completion so what you need to do is whenever you add an activity like this one um, you need to make sure that the activity completion setting down here is set properly for example in this case this is a forum so i require student to post so i must post i tick and then i save so i didn't set deadline you can even set deadline if you want to just in case you want to set deadline for every single activity that would be fine as well in my case i make it open as long as they are flexible they can do it anytime they want as long as they complete it same thing with other uh, activities so you can see any activity you add you can go to activity completion and then make sure you enable this do not use uh, the upper student mark as uh, mark on their own if you if you use student mark on their own it will be quite tricky all right so because you want to make sure that they actually uh, complete the task so if i click add an activity for example let's say assignment if you scroll down you have activity completion here so don't use student can mark manually all right just put show activity is complete when condition are met so they must uh, submit you enable this you can set that line if you want to also i don't encourage you to put all this in activity confusion for all so for those materials that you uploaded you can also do not indicate so that you don't interfere with your main activities for example here if i go back to my course you can see all these are not with are uh, without any uh, activity completion i only set the completion for uh, my activities okay once you have this then you can go to badges this is where you will see all your badges you can upload your badges and then set the criteria so in this case if i add a new batch i can name the batch let's say unit for completion and then i can say for students who completed unit for activities right then you can choose the badges you can upload your own you can design you can just find somewhere online if you want to in this case i just simply do a one for each unit you can put your name if you want in two just in case you you know you want to claim the rights to your badges the rest you can leave you can put if you don't you can leave it blank now batch expiry is where you will set whether the batch can be claimed by a certain date let's say you don't want students to claim the batch uh, you know, after a certain time then you can put a fixed date so after for example 20 November they can no longer claim this batch so there will be some element of gamification as well you can set the time so you can tell them this batch is only available to be grabbed within this period so you can fix that or it can be relative day after how many days how many weeks up to you in my case I put never because this can be done anytime they want right so let's say I create the batch next thing you need to do is to add the criteria this is where i told you just now you need to make sure the activities are clear so you can do the first one manual issue by row means you are the one who is going to issue it for example if i choose this one then only teacher can can issue it and this criteria is complete when um you know all of the selected rows award the, the batch or something like that okay so you can set this by by the this kind of criteria so let's say if i don't want if i go back then i can go back to criteria i can also put cost completion you can have another batch for student who complete the whole thing the whole course like 100 percent everything they've done you can give another batch you can also put awarded badges meaning they achieve certain scores then you can award the badge 
or competency these are quite similar competency is you have to set the competency for every activity which i don't really encourage because this one will require you to do a bit of rating skill and everything so it will take some time for you to rate every single thing in my case i use activity completion so i put activity completion you can see all the activities that i have enabled the completion just now i can just tick so let's say this is unit so for imagine is unit 4 so i just tick and then i'll put here this criteria is complete when all of these selected activities are complete i don't want any i want them to finish everything then they have to complete and then i click save once they have done this right they will be automatically assigned the batch without you interfering right so this is good for encouraging student to complete activities normally non-graded because grading means you need to grade right so the grading one maybe you can manually assign so once you're done um, um then you have to enable excel oh i forgot to show you this for example this one just now let me just demo this maybe i take this one right all save then you have to enable this right make sure you enable this if you don't enable this then the student will never be able to claim the batch automatically or manually okay so i'm going to delete this because it's, it's a bit redundant for mine so if i go back i will have my badges here already all right i can manage badges you can see this one is awarded by teacher means it's manually assigned so i assign manually to seven recipient so i can award batch again so i can pick all right so i can pick all this uh, you know the 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 student that i want to give so i can just award if i want to revoke i can revoke right so these are manually assigned um i also have activity completion just now if i click on this then i can see that 65 students have receive it what happened is if you go to the student profile the student actually can display the the badges so you can do nice badges if you want to like those who have completed uh, more than one then you will see like uh, i'm not sure whether this uh, yeah you can see like wendy here has two right means they can compile the badges and everything at least you also know that they have completed the task this is like something like motivating them to complete you also get a summary here like in my case because this is this week only three have completed the uh the the other two activities not all are uh, have done it because i have a total 80 students so only 65 52 here so if you need to change anything just click on edit and change it again whatever ruling you want but the problem is once you have activated it if you want to change the criteria then you have to disable access first then you can change the criteria right the good thing is it gives you a good summary like this one you can see the students have completed earlier at least you know that they have done their work right so yeah i think that's about all for the badges i hope you can try it out and decide what kind of activity you want to assign to and yeah happy trying thank you very much for listening